Some leftists in Finland here. How y'all doing? There are some in this world who are entirely capable of getting a point across to a person in society that's pretty mean. We'll just we'll just say that. Pretty rude, pretty mean, bigoted, whether they're transphobic or homophobic, or they shame the poor, or they they can't understand why people with mental illness can't just walk their way out of it just go work out and you know like like people who who have no sympathy for for people with mental illness or disabilities things like that there are people who exist in this world especially people who are within these communities who are members of these communities who will take a kinder approach you know like Mercury Stardust on Instagram. I've been following her for a while now, the trans handyman. And every now and then she'll take a comment from some just rotten individual. She'll put the comment up there and she'll like kindly talk about it and and hope that the person changes their mind and hoping against hope in my opinion. But that's what she does and a lot of people like that. And I do think that in this world, in this world of discourse, there is a place for that. There are people who can serve that role. I'm not one of them. This channel is not about education. It's not about re-education. If let's take a right-wing person, for example, uh, a poor right-wing person who is shaming other poor people, you got to be educated before you can be re-educated. And I ain't no teacher, okay? I'm not a, I'm not a teacher, I'm not an instructor, I'm not a professor. I'm a guy with opinions. If I do happen to change your mind over the course of me ranting and rambling, that's just a bonus for me. And I have had several people over the years come to me on Undertaker Freak or on this channel and say that they were thankful that I helped take them off of some path of stupidity. Maybe they didn't know why it was wrong that they were using the R slur, the F slur and you know, I, I I know definitely a couple examples of that, or people with you know like with religion or or you know basically people saying that that I persuaded them in some way. We'll, we'll just put it that way, and that's cool. But I didn't get like this big happy feeling about it because that's not what I'm here to do. It's just a bonus. It's not a bad thing either. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not in the business of doing that. I can't be kind to somebody who doesn't want to be kind to someone who is already being kicked while they're down. They just want to add a couple extra kicks in there. No. Fuck you. No. It, 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 it's not happening. I'm not going to treat people who treat others unkindly. Kindly. It's just not part of... I. I you know, if, if you want to see that as a character flaw, by all means, you're entitled to. You don't got you don't have to be here. You don't have to subscribe to me. You don't have to watch my videos. You don't have to like my videos. You don't have to follow me on Instagram. You don't have to follow me anywhere. You don't have to be instrumental in my life, even in the most infinitesimal of manners, okay? You can just leave. And I'll be fine. You see that bed? This bed will be occupied tonight with a very satisfied man. I'll still be sleeping. I bring all this up because I'm seeing an increasing number of comments from people who think I need to be kinder to those who have differing viewpoints. And let me tell you something about differing viewpoints. If your differing viewpoint is that poor people deserve to be shamed, if your differing viewpoint is that trans people are not the gender that they identify as, if your viewpoint is that um, you know, anything bigoted, anything bigoted. I don't consider that a legitimate viewpoint. It is, but it's not a viewpoint that should be treated with kindness. It is one that should be shamed. It is one that should be ridiculed because I've been living on this planet long enough to realize that in some ways that's the only way people are going to learn. How many people do you think have tried to reach the average bigot on the internet who spews the kind of shit that they do on the trans handyman's Instagram page? How many people do you think have tried to take them off the path of being a moron? 
willfully ignorant to the facts, willfully ignorant to the fact that there aren't always two sides to one story, two, two sides to a story, rather. Sometimes there's just one side, and trying to force that other side in there doesn't necessarily mean that you're engaging in civil discourse. It means that you're just trying to please this other side who wants a seat at the table when they don't fucking deserve that seat at the table. They haven't earned that seat at the table. And in my estimation, the way that you earn that seat at the table is by... It's, it, it's really easy. It's like, oh my god, it's so simple. You just have to not be a fucking bigot. You just have to not uphold and spread and promote viewpoints that seek to hurt other people. That's it. That's all you got to do. It's really simple, and you know what? A lot of people can't do it. They're still out there shaming poor people. They're still out there shaming the homeless. Still out there making fun of people who are suffering with depression. And still pushing misogyny. Still talking about how feminism is this thing that we don't need and it's gone too far. Still saying that trans... The, still talking about the trans bathroom thing in 2024. Ignoring facts. Ignoring experts. Ignoring the truth so that they can continue to spew their bile. Willfully. Fuck these people. You're never going to see me treat them kindly in the comments section. You're never going to hear me talk about them in any sort of kind manner, ever. And if this bothers you, maybe this channel is just not for you because this is my release. This is my outlet, first and foremost. Anything else that comes after that is, you know, hell, I I, I met my soon ex-wife through this channel. I, I, I met another ex or not this channel, but through a different channel. And even those things, like I tried over the years ago, oh wow, YouTube, it did this such, such this great thing for me. Even those things, those very consequential things were secondary to the fact that this channel was what I used to just get all of the filth and vulgarity out of my system so that I didn't have to use it so much in real life. So I didn't have to carry it with me around like a, like a fucking weight around my neck or a weight around my ankle, you know? That is what all these people who are leaving these comments, you know, you'll catch more uh, flies with honey than vinegar. That's what you need to understand. You know, my points are not invalid because I call you a moron. You know, people like to say that, you know, they'll say it's an ad hominem attack, like, Oh, you called someone a name. Ad hominem, ad hominem. Not if I have a point within the insult. If there is a point to be made, especially if that other side is making a point that cannot be substantiated with facts, with evidence, with the truth, then I don't care. I simply don't care. It's about the message, not the medium. It's about the message, not the messenger. If the messenger is a ranty, 30, almost 34-year-old dude who swears a lot, what does it matter? If you don't want to hear it, don't listen to it. But... And you know what? There's not even a single tiny part of me that thinks that what I'm saying is wrong right now. It does feel sometimes, yeah, reflexively wrong to say that it's okay to be mean sometimes. I don't think it's okay. It's just the way that I conduct my business towards people who have who, who have shown me they don't care. They don't care about civility. They don't care about civil discourse. They don't care about hearing facts, figures, statistics, actual numbers, things that, that absolutely blow their arguments out of the water. If you don't care about these things, then you're actively acting in bad faith. You're arguing in bad faith. You're pushing your viewpoints in bad faith so that you can be right. That's all you want. You just want to be right even if you're completely full of shit. That's not respectable to me. As a human being, I don't want to see you get hurt. 
I don't want you to get sick, um, especially because you're probably the kind of selfish asshole who will just go out there and spread the sickness. I don't want to wear a mask. Eh. But I don't want you to get sick either way. Whatever. You know, I, I don't wish physical harm upon these people. But I also don't want to be one of those people who's just like, all right, let, let, let me try to reach you. Maybe I could reach you. If I thought it were possible to reach a poor person who votes right wing, despite the fact that it's just going to make their life so much harder, a class traitor, you know, if I thought that they could be reached, well, I would refer them to someone else, or I would refer them to some resource to read with their own eyes, to listen to with their own ears, and to soak in that knowledge. Again, I'm not a teacher. The information that I provide is information that I have read from sources that are verifiable. So, I will direct them to that. Other than that, I'm not going to try to reach you. I'm not going to try to reach your heart. You probably don't have one. And any semblance of a heart that you had, you lost a long time ago. And I ain't going to help you find it. I'm not going to help you find the path back to civility. <laughs> because honestly, I think it is that adherence to civility, this, this, this unwavering, like, all right, let's be kind. This is why the left, in a big way, it's why the left loses as often as they do. Because it's all about not being as uncouth as the right. Because the right loves it. They love getting right in your face and saying, even though I don't have any facts, I don't have any evidence, I don't have any proof, but I'm going to get really close to you. I'm going to say this over and over and over and over again. And then if I say it over and over and over again, guess what? Oh, it's true now. And I'm going to get even closer to your face. I'm going to get even closer to your face and tell you why you're wrong, even though you're not wrong. And I'm going to tell you why I have a valid viewpoint, why... There is another side to this story. You know, you want to know the phrase that sickens me way more often than it should? You make a good point. You make a good argument. You make a valid point. Because more often than not, when I hear somebody say that, I know they are just trying to be nice. To make this person feel heard so that maybe they can reach them. It never happens. Maybe... It does. I can't say never for, you know, generally speaking, but it doesn't happen nearly enough to justify me sitting here and, and being a nice guy to people who are not nice to those who deserve it the most. To those, no, to those who need it the most. You know how, how much the, you know, these, these people from marginalized groups, do you know how often that women want to just scream right back at people who are being misogynistic? or transphobic or anything like that but can't because society won't let them because oh it's just another hysterical woman right it's just another woman on her monthly you know these are the things that they have to hear if they lose their composure if they lose their shit you know look at the 2016 election donald trump was was foaming at the mouth for a lot of his campaign. He was just being a complete, bitter psychopath, a total sociopath. You know, and nobody talked about him being hysterical. Nobody talked about him being emotionally unstable. But if Hillary Clinton were to have that same vitriol, oh my God. Oh my God, she would have never heard the end of it. And she wouldn't have even gotten probably half the votes that she got. Because of all of the people who will not allow a woman to be that way. Just like they won't allow people from other marginalized groups to be that way because they'll be knocked down another peg on the social ladder. So I just wanted to talk about that because I've been seeing the comments. I wanted to let you know if you've been posting these, these comments, I hear you, but I don't give a fuck. Have a good day.